Um, and it just leads to this cycle of like more anxiety because you feel like you can't breathe, but you're still trying to run. And it's just this vicious cycle. So if you can focus on your breathing from your belly, you will be able to run farther and faster and more efficiently without having to deal with that. Hey, I'm Steph. I'm a physical therapist and online run coach, a runner, a mom. I'm the creator of the Beginners Running Group on Facebook and Beginners Running Program. I have a love and passion for helping beginner runners and beginner again runners learn to love running, learn to be consistent with it, and learn how to get faster without getting hurt. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to belly breathe, how to fix your breathing so that you're breathing more with your diaphragm than all of these other muscles up in your neck and shoulders that should not be doing the work of helping you breathe because when we breathe there, that's when, when you're out running, you get that shortness of breath and that like, you have to feel like you gasp for air. If you can learn to control the breathing so that you're not using these muscles, so that you're focusing on using your diaphragm to do it, then you will be able to keep that, um, that increased stress and anxiety that comes when all these muscles get really tight from trying to help you breathe, that they can't let the air come out um, and it just leads to this cycle of like more anxiety because you feel like you can't breathe but you're still trying to run and it's just this vicious cycle so if you can focus and calm that reaction and focus on your breathing from your belly using your diaphragm versus all these other muscles up here you will be able to stop the the gasping for air and that kind of anxious feeling that comes with it. You will be able to run farther and faster and more efficiently without um, having to deal with that. Now, you're still going to be short of breath sometimes because you are still working. You are still pushing yourself to do more and go faster, but you shouldn't be gasping for air. You shouldn't be losing air. You just have to learn to control and maybe breathe a little bit faster, um, but it should still be that controlled breathing. So we're going to start laying down and get the rhythm there. And then as it gets better, um, I want you to work on sitting and then standing and, and then try even while you're walking to do it and then transfer it into running um, and work on that, you know, breathing in for two, out for two. Work on the focus and the control and maybe even start with counting so that you can get that rhythm down. Your body can learn that. And then once it gets easier, you don't have to even think about it. It just will come naturally. So let's start on our backs with our knees up. I want you to put one hand on your belly, just below where your ribs come together, and the other hand on your chest. And the hand on your chest is simply to see if you are using these muscles up top or not. What should be happening is you should feel this hand rise and lower. This hand will move a little bit, but it shouldn't be moving more than this hand down below on your belly. So you're just gonna take a deep breath in as far as you can, fill up your lungs, fill up your belly, and then blow it out, and push it all out um, as long as you can. So here we go. So what I'm feeling as I'm filling up my lungs, my belly hand is rising, and then as this fills up, then my upper lungs and my upper hand will start to lift a little bit. And then as everything pushes out, they both lower back down. So focus on filling your belly first, then get the rest of the lungs, and then push back out. So I want you to try this for a minute. So set the timer for one minute, and Get in your position. Again, start laying down so that you can have everything else be nice and relaxed. Inhale as deep as you can. Exhale as deep as you can. And I want you to inhale through your nose. 
exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. And then, once that seems pretty easy, you feel like you've got the rhythm down, then come to a comfortably seated position. Same thing, I want one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest, trying to relax all your neck muscles and your shoulder muscles. And again, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're gonna, I'm gonna do three times for you, so. Turn sideways so you can see my belly. Okay, so I'm filling up that nice little baby belly, which is just air, and then I'm pushing it all out. This is my diaphragm, the muscle that is supposed to be used for breathing, doing the work. That is the muscle we want to be breathing for us, not everything up here. You're having aches and pains in your shoulders and your neck with running, and you're having a difficulty breathing. They could all be related. So work on calming and focusing on relaxing, controlling your breath. Again, you're going to get short of breath. That is part of running. That is part of training and pushing yourself to do better and be better. But you can still control the gasping and control. Even if you have to stop and walk in order to control it, then do that. When you first start out with running, when you're a beginner or you're beginning again after a break for some reason, you want to start at a very easy pace. This is for a number of reasons, um, but one of them being you not only need to condition your legs, you need to condition your, your lungs and your heart to to work again in that way. And so you want to be easy. It should be a conversational pace, we say. So a pace where you can say, say a few words or say a sentence, like if you were talking to somebody while you were running. Now, if you cannot do that and you do start that gasping for air, either slow your pace or stop and walk until your breathing is calmed down and controlled again, and then pick it back up, but keep it easy. You need to do that for at least four weeks, three to four weeks to get a base. So your base is not only for your legs to get conditioned, it is for your heart, your lungs, your whole cardiovascular and musculoskeletal systems, muscles and bones, heart and lungs, for everything to become conditioned slowly and gradually to running again. And once you're at that point, over that time, it will get easier but you need to focus and control the breathing and do what you can to prevent injuries and to prevent yourself from hyperventilating. That's not what you wanna do when you're running. If you're doing that every time, of course you're gonna to wanna to give up and not try again, but you can control it. Just practice the breathing one minute, once a day. Start there, transition from laying down to sitting to standing to walking, walk around your house or your apartment, focusing on your breathing, training your diaphragm to work for you instead of overworking your neck and shoulder muscles. And then as you get out for a run, remember that. Do your breathe in for two, out for two, in for two, out for two. Do that while you run. Keep the count if you need to because that will help keep you focused on it. That should help with injuries. That should help with breathing, everything. So you can do this. I have faith in you. Just take control, train yourself, and you can do it. Have a great run, everyone.